Yo, what up, Stomp Wrestling fam? I'm here with your boy. We're getting the unfiltered MPKH. I know that for a fact. Don't even address filtered MPKH. We got to talk about that Ooh. match. Moxley versus Punk. We got to talk about it. What happened? That was a mess. Tony Khan looks like he's shaking in his pants. Look, looks like his knees are shaking. I don't know. What are you saying? From the get-go, I knew some BS was going to happen in that match. And I was... And, I, and sadly, as usual, I was proven right. Like, what? Right. Bro. I thought the BS we were going like, to get was like MJF or something. Not not a squash. <laughs> not a straight-up squash even, match. Man, I even said on Twitter, I'm like, as much as I want MJF to return... I'm always leaving room for disappointment. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. And I yep. knew MJF was not returning. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm not going to return. I honestly thought he might return, but I was like, I don't want him to return on Dynamite. So in a way, I'm glad. But in a way, what we got was absolutely dog shit. Dog shit. Mm. Like, I've got questions. Was Punk brought back too early? Is that why we got the match we got? And if so, why was he brought back so early? Bro, is Punk, is like, Punk walking out? Is that why the match was so short? Is he walking out? Did he get brought back early to do the job in order to leave? There's so many questions bro, to be asked here. Yikes, man. It is... There's a lot to unpack with the entire unification bout because wow wow i'm still in shock i am trying to get in some unfiltered right now but filtered is taking over but guys how people really hyped up john moxley versus cm punk to be the biggest match in AEW history and look what they got they were comparing look it to stone got. cold versus the rock i was just stone like, cold just versus for the that rock. i was just like just for that this match Bro, is gonna flop. People and I'm were losing their it, minds man. for this match. All for nothing. All for nothing. I even I even saw some my way edits on Twitter. I'm like, you guys are overrating this match. Y'all are overrating it. And I was and I, again, I just hate being right. And at Bro. the same time, I love it. I would have rather <laughs> uh, Tony Khan is scared to do finishes where like someone interferes or someone gets involved or the heel cheats or he's almost scared to do those types of finishes i would have rather scared had one of those than a clean finish like that man if i would have had a nice cm punk heel turn because i don't trust me social media fans ha, they are begging for it Bro. it's almost as if they want it but to and be I'm honest be like the crowd uh, there uh, wasn't on punk side either though Bro, you saw when when Justin Roberts was introducing Punk. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, That's yo. exactly what I was thinking. The, the reception Moxley got compared to Punk's reception. I was like, hmm, is this a Punk kill turn coming? Especially for how long Bro, he was holding the title. It was like he was trying to say that he's the champion. He's the proper champion. Just to get squashed like that. <laughs> yo, I am just there like, oh my God. Oh boy, yeah. here comes a CM Punk heel turn. And you guys, you caused this. Just know that. <laughs> and Punk, let's, okay. we got to talk about this. Punk holding and selling the wrong foot. Or, I'm not sure which foot got injured, but he either sold the wrong foot today or he kicked with the wrong foot. One of the two. But it was oh. terrible. It was so noticeable. Like... <laughs> If we had to react to the match, which I know we can't because of AEW copyrights, yeah, you would see that he was selling that foot. And I was like, yo, what the hell was that? I see people trying to defend it, saying he twisted his foot on the way down. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no, he, don't just, he fell, he fell and he sold the wrong and foot. He didn't twist. He didn't twist it. He didn't, he didn't force on it. He just fell on it and he right. sold the wrong one. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. And I was getting so tired of Moxley's title reign. And now it's just going to continue. Hopefully it continues in a better light now that he can have actual matches against Hangman, against whoever. Because yes. 
before he was getting these weird ass matches with Mance Warner and Rush or Roosh and all these names that you like we know he's not winning so why are we why are we watching this bro like I would as much I love John Moxley and he's been on a he's been on a roll this year but I do have to admit that some of it has been a little bit overrated in my opinion because yeah. of, because of how the way he was portrayed how he was booked bro and also the bleeding yeah and don't get started on that oh and also this is the this is the first time i've seen john moxley not bleed this entire year bro he didn't he have time to bleed. bleed there was no time there was bleed. no time to do a blade job <laughs> the match was over in like five minutes but so. hey if we got like a if we got like a 30 minute match yeah we definitely would have seen some blood for sure all the way from his head to his toes punk's not scared of, scared of a bit of blood either so we probably would have seen that as well <laughs> yeah right. ah, but yeah i don't know, don't know what yeah. to say about this i really don't is punk walking out or am i looking too much into it all we gotta do is just wait and see man because wow then if punk this... didn't walk out and he's actually injured and they brought him back just because he's gonna be injured for a long time oh, yeah. after then we already know that tony khan made a mistake by booking punk as the interim or booking moxley as the interim champion he should have just relinquished it from the start exactly then, then we would have gotten a much better john moxley world title run and definitely. we would have gotten a much better punk in his first defense or his comeback thereafter not this whichever one we got here and when i saw that match wasn't main eventing i was like okay something's up something's up how is death triangle versus aussie open main eventing over the rock versus austin of AEW? <laughs> oh no, man it, it makes no sense no i'm not, not i refuse i refuse and but another hey. thing that I said, I just want to bring this up. So, I think the reason Tony moved the match from All Out to Dynamite is because he was scared of that Chicago crowd's reaction to that match. If that match happened at All Out, Chicago would have rioted. They would have gone mad. And Moxley would have been the biggest heel just because of the way in that Chicago. match ended in Chicago. Bro. Oh. I would have chewed, I would have laughed Bro, if that happened. I'm sure they would have swarmed the ring or something because those Chicago fans are crazy. If you're from Chicago, please do not take offense to this. No, 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 no. We love it. We love it. But uh, it's almost like he was terrified of that happening. Oh, and that's the only, yeah. I don't see any other reason for him moving it than that. Uh -huh. I also think, well, if Tony did, if that was the original plan, what was going to happen? What was going to happen with Punk afterwards? Exactly. Exactly. What was going to, yeah, I still don't know what's going to happen with Punk now. Is he walking out or is he just going to be rehabbing his foot properly? Who knows? Yikes. But. I got a question, and this is going to hurt a lot of people. Right now, would you say that that is one of the worst AEW matches right now? Would I'd you say. say that is what? I'd say. I'd say. Simply because of the hype that was around it. Yeah. I would put that up there with Chris Jericho versus Eddie Kingston at Fighter Fest League 2 and that Shark Cage barbed wire nonsense of a match. And that also put that up there with Young Bucks versus FTR one, and I know that's going to hurt a lot of people. But that match also, yeah, that was terrible. Ah, yeah, yeah. Moxley versus Omega in the exploding ring, whatever you call it. <laughs> that that's another story as well. Yeah, that's a bit of a yeah. We're not stretching. That's just our honesty. Yeah, at least I so, know. I'm I'd I'd put this up there with it simply because of the hype that was around it bro like 
Yeah, well, this was, yeah. I can just say that AEW, again, has been this year. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah. The amount of backstage heat that's happening right now with Thunder Rosa, with Punk, with Eddie Kingston, Sammy Guevara, <laughs> Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter, that's, it's all it's all a mess there which we spoke about in our earlier video but you guys should check that out yeah you guys should check that out first before you watch this but if you did make it here don't forget to like subscribe tap that bell icon here yeah and then come back to this and give us your thoughts yeah but now that john moxley is now the first ever two-time aw champion what does this mean what type of matches are we getting because I can expect a lot of things. Blood, hardcore wrestling, who does he face? strong style. Who does he face? Give me some names who he faces. Because I want to know. <laughs> There's not many left. Uh, I'll be honest. I guess Ken- you could do. Kenny is not available. Because yeah. Kenny is not ready to have proper singles matches. So they won't put Kenny. Yeah. Eddie Kingston uh, suspended. Guess, yeah. I guess they could do, I don't know, and this is a bit of a stretch, John Moxley versus Hangman Page. Yeah, That's a bit could. of a stretch. They could. That's one. But how would you, but it all depends on how they book it, though. Yeah, if it they all wanna, depends. I don't see many tell opponents you, for him. That's my issue. I don't see any many opponents for him. Because I can tell you right now that this title reign, yeah, is. I don't think it's gonna go well. I, I don't really think so don't. either. I don't think so either. I think it's already run its course because he faced so many people already. So or John, like we could see John Moxley versus New Japan Pro Wrestling guys. We could. That many of us wouldn't know. We could. Unless we you want to do, unless you want to do Mox versus Okada, Mox versus Tanahashi two, Mox versus Jay White for the unification match. Which yeah. No, please don't no. do that. Please don't. Marks versus Osprey. That could work. There's a lot of matches, yeah, but I, I, I just don't see a lot of big heels within AEW that he can take on. Here's a question oh, for you. The... Who is the top heel in AEW right now? Jericho, okay? Besides would... Jericho. Besides Jericho. I was gonna say MJF, but he's gone. Yeah. Jericho, a top heel. He is the you top. You guys heel. know how I you guys know how I feel about Chris Jericho's run yeah. in AEW. So yeah, I so am, other than Jericho and MJF, because they both have either faced Moxley or not in the company right now. Who do you say? <laughs> Nobody. This is a bit of a this is a bit of a stretch, but I might just say it's malachi black probably but that's he's not a top heel that's the thing he's the next he's heel. just the next yeah, one in the just, list there's some there's some good heels that he can go up against there's powerhouse hobbs there's malachi black buddy matthews there's yeah i guess so but none of them are big well, enough names that's how i look at it yeah i guess so like boy oh boy did we get booked into did they book themselves into a mess with this one that's what i'm trying to say because if we got punk winning for example i know it probably couldn't happen because punk's clearly not ready punk winning heel turn we could have had (laughs) punk versus moxley again down the line we could have had punk versus mjf because mjf would come back as a face if if he had to attack punk let's be honest um mjf is a baby face Punk versus MJF Hangman. Has a baby. Yes. We could have had Punk versus Hangman. Punk versus Brian Danielson. We could have had Punk oh. versus a lot of people if he was a heel. Bro. But MJF has a baby face. It's going to uh. happen. It's going to happen. He's going to be that Bro. guy that that um, goes against... If Okay, maybe not now, but if Punk was champion, MJF would have been the face because he would have been that guy, especially with the recent news of Punk. That was right all along. That's you like asking. Yeah, I guess so. But that's like saying Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, right now is a baby face. Oh no, 
Yeah. There's no hope. But I think they could make MJF as a baby. I don't know if they could make it work, really. Um, I don't think they make him a face. I think he would be the face. The face by default. I think he'd still do his same shtick. His same gimmick. His same everything. But to the fans, Yeah, but they the just face. treat him like the good guy. Yeah. For the feud. True. And then keep it. And then turn him heel. And then he goes Which back I to don't. normal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But clearly that's not happening. So here's another question. Who does Mox face at All Out? Mance Warner? <laughs> My game Orange Cassidy? Man's one and oh, please, no. <laughs> Orange Cassidy? We got to look at names like that because that's who we got left. Oh, one of the guys boy. from Private Party? I don't know. <laughs> Someone. Uh, oh, what have y'all done? Bro. I don't what know. Have, what has AEW done? It's, it's a They're going to book John Moxley like a, like a joke, man. Oh. John Moxley <sighs> against Parker Bordeaux. One, one of the trust busters. Ari Davari. Throw them all in there. <laughs> throw them all in there. Hashtag the nobodies. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. It's, it's a mess. It's a real mess. I don't know if it we're even going to see the AEW world title be defended at all out, in all honesty. We could just have the trios title main event. Yeah, because that's looking like a real good possibility. Yeah, with Kenny, Kenny and the Bucks versus whoever, whoever. All right. Anyway, yeah. I think that's us ranting and raving about. Well, not raving, just ranting about over that match last night and Tony Khan's terrible booking, <laughs> or as I like to call it, M A R K B O O K I N G. Mark Booking. Uh, you're sounding, like you're sounding more and more like Jim Cornette every day. What's happening? What's going on? I'm supposed to be unfiltered MPKH, not the black Jim Cornette. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what's going on with me? <laughs> Guys. Oh my God. Let's end this before it gets too far. Before it gets too far. <laughs> anyway, but, okay. Guys. So let us know in the comments. What you think of the whole John Moxley versus CM Punk controversy or or travesty, as you I like to call it? If you did enjoy this video, stomp on that like button, stomp that subscribe button, and stomp on that bell icon to be notified when your favorite stomp boys appear next. And hopefully, when unfiltered here goes back to being unfiltered every gauge and not being Jeff Cornette, as some people are raving about. <sighs> but anyways. Let us know in the comments, are you happy with this choice or are you not? So thank you for watching. And that, ladies and gentlemen, as I like to say, has just been too sweet. sweet.